Happy Frugal Friday, everyone. My name is Kate. On this channel, we talk about frugal living, budgeting, and saving money. This video is for those of you that maybe you have a time period where you can't work those extra hours and you're having a hard time earning more and you wanna just live and you just want to still enjoy life, but not be going in hard hustle mode. So here are four frugal ways to optimize your current income just as you currently are. Number one, be for the sheets and not the streets. What this means is choosing to stay in and enjoying your home, enjoying being cozied up, cuddling up with your pets or family, relaxing, staying home instead of burning yourself out with social plans and especially spending too much on social plans. I promise you, I say this from the least judgmental place because I firmly believe in personal finance being personal so that you have the choice to spend on whatever you want. Frugal living is so great because it focuses on spending less on things that are not that important to you so you can really spend on the things that bring you the most value. But I'm on social media and I see people sharing these incredible experiences and no shame in your game if you are saving up for these amazing experiences. But I also know that social plans can really add up. So it's just something to consider when you're trying to optimize your current income Maybe just decide on a couple things that really, really spark joy and excitement that you can spend your money on, but maybe just enjoy being in a little bit more and not feeling that pressure to do a lot of expensive social things so that you can save up your money and live happily on your current income. Stay living below your means. Number two, use up what you already have. This is one of my favorite frugal living tips and I can't stop saying it because I think we leave a lot on the table. So I'm gonna give you a very specific example of how I use up what I have when it comes to food. Okay, so I had some things in my refrigerator and I was like, okay, what can I make? Cause I was having a little bit of a craving to go get something out to eat. But I was like, all right, I know every time I do that, it costs a lot more. What can I just make? that I already have. The other thing is I've been trying to increase my protein. So I was like, what do I have that I could have, you know, a relatively healthy meal, kick up the protein and not spend a dime because I've already bought these things. What could I make? And here was my solution. I did like an egg bake. I will show you right now exactly what I did to use what I have instead of going out and spending more and spending more of my budget than I wanted to on food. Okay, so if you know me at all, you know I'm not a fancy person who cooks fancy things, right? So I am taking some butter that I already have in my home to grease my glass container here. This is an eight by six, and you can do a little bigger if you want. This is just what I had, so I used it. Next, I cracked eight eggs. Yes, eight. Wasn't really sure how many I needed, but I just went for it. That is one through eight. And then next, I poured a little bit of skim milk. Again, that's what I had on me, and I did a half a cup. And then next, I did cottage cheese. You can do the generic type if you have that in your fridge already. Uh, I think that was hood that you just saw. I did a half cup, but in retrospect, I would have done a little bit more. Next time I'll do a little bit more. You really have to stir that up. Probably you could have whisked it, but I just went full fork. Now I'm doing a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a little flavor. And I think I actually would have put a little bit more salt and pepper. I think I went a little too light. And then I stirred that up again. And then poured that in and I put some cheese on top. And in retrospect, I would have put more cheese, you guys, too. I did 350 for 55 minutes. 
and this is what it looked like. And this was awesome because it tasted really good the first time. And then I put it in the fridge and I used it for the next two days, which was awesome because I actually used it for my lunch so that I could have some protein. This was so easy. Just using what you have, eggs, milk, cottage cheese, and some shredded cheese. See, and I just plated it up. I also had an avocado and I love avocado. So in this case, I just cut up the avocado and put it on top. I just want you guys to know the next serving I had, I actually added cottage cheese on top. Now, if you're not a big fan of cottage cheese, this might not work for you, but I'm a huge fan of cottage cheese on everything these days. It's affordable, it's tasty, and it's packed with protein. So if you're looking for like a protein, relatively healthy little meal here, this is it. Just to recap really quick, if you wanna jot what I just said down, it was eight eggs in an eight by six. It was a half a cup of skim milk, a half a cup of cottage cheese, which I think I would put a whole cup. And I also did about a half a cup of shredded cheese and I think I would have done like half a cup in and then half a cup on top, honestly. If I were gonna do it again, juice it up a little bit. But it was delicious, it was relatively healthy, and it lasted me a few days. Also, that was at a preheated oven of 350. Originally, I'd done 40 minutes, that wasn't enough. I did 50 minutes, that wasn't enough. So I did 55. And I'm not comfortable changing up too many things because I don't know like, oh, if I put it at 375, can I just do less and it will work out? I'm a beginner, people. So do what you must to adjust to that. Or let me know in the comments, what would you do to change that recipe a little bit to make it better? Oh, by the way, I was originally inspired by a creator named Laura. She was showing some frugal meals and I was like, ooh, I just did my own take on it, but she had spinach in hers. And so just let me know in the comments, what can we do to make that better? Again, I was trying to just use what I have, make it simple, but you know, I'm always open to suggestions. Number three, engage in no cost or low cost activities. One of my favorites, of course, is reading. I'm a huge reader. My favorite genre is psychological thriller but I also really enjoy reading books about money, big surprise. Another zero cost thing that I love to do is walking. Me and my son try to go maybe three times a week at least for a nice long walk, get some fresh air. That's really enjoyable, costs nothing. We have great conversation. Listening to podcasts or YouTube videos for entertainment, it's right at your fingertips. You don't have to spend another dime if you already have a phone or you already have a device. Watch for free, listen for free. It's pure joy. Playing games you already have, a simple deck of cards. Use what you've already got. I love board games. Volunteering is a great way to meet new people and serve your community. Potluck dinners or lunches, that way everyone contributes a little and it's really inexpensive and you can have a lot of fun together. Free local events, there's always something happening in your town, your city, check it out. Go be part of the community and it's totally free and it's entertaining and it's fun. Number four, educate yourself for free without spending another dollar. Listen to free things, like we said, YouTube, you can listen to podcasts, you can get books, and the other thing is you can learn new things like Duolingo can teach you a language for free. My son is on like a 300 day streak learning French. He loves it. It's completely free and he'll be able to use that later. I love that idea of just getting free education and there are so many ways that you can do that. Take full advantage. It doesn't cost a dime. With all these ideas, I don't even know how you're gonna have time to do anything else. <laughs> if you have more ideas on ways we can optimize our income, give us some frugal tips down below that can help the K-Squad. Give us everything you've got because we love to read through the comments and get new ideas. 
All these tips are free on this channel. If you haven't hit subscribe and you want more, hit subscribe so you never miss a video. Hit that like button. It really helps get my videos to other people that are like-minded. Thanks for being part of this community. I appreciate you so much. If you like this video, I've got another one for you to watch right here next. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.